Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain an experiment for measurement of the static torque curve of the benchmark motor that we use in permanent magnet motors drive and control course. Here you can see the benchmark servo motor at the left hand side and here I have a stepper motor. The rated torque of the stepper motor is much higher than the rated torque of the servo motor. As you know the rated torque of the servo motor is 1.2 newton meter but the rate of torque of this stepper motor is 30 is much higher than the servo motor i will explain the reason when i am explaining the procedure for calculation of the static torque curve so this is one method and in the next videos we will perform other methods for measuring the static torque curve. Here I have the driver of the stepper motor. This is a power supply to fed the torque meter. And also we have a function generator to actually run the stepper motor to set the a speed of the stepper motor and to command it for a continuous rotation. This is a two phase stepper motor, and during the course, we discussed how to run a stepper motor using a function generator. And here I have this power supply to fed the coils of the servo motor right to have a field a stator field and finally calculate the static torque curve so let me explain the procedure for calculation of the static torque okay so now let's review the procedure for measuring the static torque curve. Here as you can see we have a servo motor here. We have this torque meter and this big stepper motor. The rated torque of the stepper motor is 30 newton meter and the rated torque of the Servo motor is 1.2 newton meter. So, as you know, for this servo motor, we have a three phase winding the phase A, B, and C. So, this is a star connection. And if we apply a current like this, IA equal to IDC, IB equal to negative of IDC divided by 2, and IC equal to negative of IDC divided by 2, we have a field a stator field in this direction, in the direction of the magnetic axis of the phase A. We discussed these concepts during the course. So, the amplitude of the stator field is determined by the amplitude of the DC current. So, if I have an excitation like this, a DC excitation. So 
here is the power supply VDC if I have this connection this is the phase A and phase B and C are in parallel so this is A B and C so this is the current right of the A I A this is I B and this is I C so as you can see here the I A right is equal to I D C and I B and I C right actually the reference direction of the current for each phase is toward the a star connection so the reference direction of ib in this direction and the reference direction of ic is in this direction so the ia is equal to the idc ib is equal to the negative of idc divided by 2 and this is ic so in this case we have a stator field that its magnetic axis is in the direction of the magnetic axis of the phase A and by setting the value of the IDC by setting the value of the VDC we can change the magnitude of the stator field so as you know the nominal current of the servo motor is 2.3 amps this is the rms value of the phase current or the terminal current so what we have here is the peak value you know i want to generate a stator field corresponding to its peak value for the current okay so here the peak value of the phase current peak value of the phase current is equal to 1.41 times 2.3 that is equal to let me calculate it here 1.41 times 2.3 is equal to 3.2 4. So this is actually IDC. So if I have this connection and if I set the value of the VDC in such a way that I get this value for IDC, I can have the stator field corresponding to the nominal current of the phase winding so in this case we have this stator field b s and also as you know we have this field b r that is due to rotor magnets the stator field is stationary because we have a DC current and a fixed connection like this. We don't have a rotating field. So if I rotate the rotor, I can change the angle between the stator field and the rotor field. As you know, the total developed electric torque is proportional to BS br times the sine of theta so because the rate of torque of the stepper motor the holding torque is much higher than the servo motor rate of torque we can rotate the rotor smoothly 
and measure the developed torque using the torque meter to plot the TE versus the current angle or actually versus theta okay the angle between the rotor field and the stator field so let me open the torque meter and also I want to plot the torque versus time so first I should excite the servo motor here the value of the IDC is equal to 3.24 because the maximum current of the DC power supply that I have is 3 amps I have to make two outputs of the DC power supply in parallel to get the rated IDC that we need for the servo motor so here I have parallel output and let's set the value of IDC equal to 3.24 actually for each output I should have this current I should divide this IDC by 2 that is equal to 1.62 so let's turn on the power supply and increase the value of VDC okay so here the amplitude of the current is 1.4 1.5 and finally 1.6 okay the summation of these two values should be close to 3.24 so now let's turn on the driver of the stepper motor and now I can rotate the stepper motor and measure the static torque graph so let's turn on the output of the function generator as you can see the stepper motor the rotor of the stepper motor rotates at a very low speed and in this case we can measure the developed torque that is actually the static torque so let's increase this and now let's capture the graph so here start measurement as you can see the maximum value is equal to 1.2 the 1.2 is the rated torque of the servo motor we discussed specifications in previous videos so let's stop the measurement okay and also stop the stepper motor and turn off the driver of the stepper motor 
so reduce the value of the DC current and finally turn off the DC power supply. So okay here you can see this interesting graph that is actually the static torque curve as you know the static torque curve of a surface mounted permanent magnet motor is like this we have maximum electric torque when theta is equal to 90 electric degrees in our case is equal to 1.2 newton meter for the rated value of the phase current okay so you can repeat the same simulation on your side and let me know if you have any question in the next videos i will explain another method for measuring the static torque graph thanks for watching